Let's see if I can sneak a flight in here. It's evening. I'm going into 5G because I'm using the Yagi Uda style uh, signal boosters. And I have something in mind. So let's see if we can get Take out off. there. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So I'm going to see if using these signal boosters will let me fly a little bit lower out in my normal playground. We've got 93% battery. So around here, I like to fly around, it's about a mile to two mile range. And with the power lines that I have and the regular residential power lines and the cell towers I have to go up like four to five hundred feet above origin when I get out here just to maintain a signal so I'm gonna see if I can cruise around out here at a couple hundred feet off the deck and still maintain a signal by using these signal boosters If I can, that would let me see some more interesting things out here. So we're full stick forward in normal mode. No breeze to speak of. So we'll just punch out to our normal spot out here. It's about quarter to six in the evening on a weekday. The last few days of October, grapes have been harvested. Should be some good light out here. We're running in 4K zoom and I've got my exposure value set to 0.3. Plus point three. So we'll just cruise past this reservoir on the way out. So yeah, the ground comes up out here a couple hundred feet. So in order for me to get a signal under the conditions that I'm flying in, I need to be like four to five hundred feet indicated. So if these range extenders, signal boosters, help that situation, that'd be awesome. some nice light so we just went three bars it looks like I'm maybe 60 80 feet off the deck out here so I'm gonna raise it up we'll try this at 200 see how far out I can get at 200 feet indicated Yeah, there's some little, whoa, what does that mean? Never seen that one before. There's some little, uh, little cuts and stuff out here in the ground. A lot of trees in them. I bet there's uh, pigs, wild pigs and deer at the right time of day. Like, what is that?
a weed. One thing I have noticed with these signal boosters is they're very directional. It's not like flying in dual band. I have to stay in a little band, little sight band. So far so good though, four bars, 200 feet indicated. Normally I would be at three to 400. Oh, there's something moving. That looks like a pig. What was that? Deer. Cool. I'll just leave it zoomed in for now. That's the first animal I've seen out here. Go back up to 200. So yeah, if I can, if I can cruise around out here at 200, I'm thinking I'll find pigs in the morning. in one of these cuts. Probably won't see him this time of day, but... Little drainage cuts. You can see some game trails there on the hill. So I still have four bars, that's good. And we're, shoot, we're over two miles. Oh, there's a little dark spot back there. So this little cut ends up coming out at the landfill. So you can see that there's quite a few game trails. And it looks like there's a very well-defined one coming out headed right towards the landfill. We got four bars, that's awesome. Yeah, like I said, this far away, I would have to be up at 400 feet. So these are definitely doing something. I'm really not interested in extending my range because I can already pass the point of safe return just running dual band. So yeah, we're not very high up above ground level. Pretty cool, man. I had a feeling that they would work for this. The only thing I've noticed with these things is you'll be cruising along, four bars, and then all of a sudden you're two bars and then you're flashing red. So there's no, the leeway is very small. I don't see anything else out here. Pretty good drop off right here. The trees are growing out of the side of the mountain, looks like. Oh, well, that one is. Oh, you can see a nice trail, several trails down there. So, yeah, I'm thinking Pig City at, at the right time of day.
cool. Alright. I see we're at 57%. So there's the glorious landfill. There's one of the big cell towers there, straight up towards the top of the screen. It's one of those big, powerful ones. They don't even hide it with a fake tree. All right, I'm gonna start heading back. Don't wanna get caught short with the sun going down. So I'm at four bars now. Let's see what we can get away with here. Well, that's shooting altitude right there. That can't be more than 40, 50 feet off the deck. Wow. Pretty cool. See if we can strafe some trees here. So I'm holding my control rig pretty flat. Seem to like that. And kind of pointing it where the the icon shows that the drone is in relation to where I am. Fifty one percent battery. Just under two miles out. Five bars now. Yeah, this is... This is way better. Just like I said, a little bit risky with the 5G, the way that it just... falls out... without much warning. Five bars though. That's crazy. Under a hundred feet indicated, I still have five bars. I gotta watch it. There's a there's a restricted zone. I'm about to run right into it. Pretty good clarity. below my below my sight line I don't want to scare anybody I always try and keep a couple hundred feet when I'm crossing the crossing the freeway just over a mile or right at a mile 44% we're doing good Five bars, that's nuts. Whoa. I heard the well pump come on and I was like, oh shit. And then I pushed the gimbal the wrong way. There are telephone or whoa, power lines up here. Can't see them, they're tricky ones. So they just plowed 
these vines down. I try and keep my gimbal up when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Gives it a little a little better spatial awareness. So our bottom sensors aren't firing, so we're about 15 feet off. Headed home. A little bit altitude. So one thing I always wanted to try is just go like full stick right at me and see if it stops. That sounds stupid. I think I'll do it. I can hear it. Oh, I overflew. Anyway, that didn't work out so great. So here's the here's the Yaga Yaga Yagi Uda. range extenders clipped on to my controller so those are pretty cool Let's see if we can get a shot of the moon before we go here there it is out there Anyway, so these things did what I wanted them to do. And I got 29% battery. It's time to go chill. This is a weekday, so. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.